For Microsoft, the public sector is one of the largest single customers that we have in any country in which we do business globally, so it's super important for us. Integrity in both public and private sector is foundational to an overall climate of trust. And the private sector can be hesitant to invest in a country where the integrity of the public sector is a concern. There are many reasons for that, and that includes the real and perceived risk of corruption, the stability of your investment in that country, the ability to compete fairly, the increasing risk of prosecution, and the potential for debarment, which is the loss of ability to do business with the public sector in other countries. We have a motto at Microsoft that's called Microsoft Runs on Trust, and we understand that trust is hard gained and easy to lose. So by setting a high ethical bar for ourselves and expecting the same from our suppliers and our distributors, we can ensure that the private sector is providing the most competitive pricing and that the end customers are paying for the value of services and the product they receive rather than for corruption or cronyism. Yes, Microsoft has an initiative um, in the public governance area. It's called Microsoft Anti-Corruption Technology and Solution, or ACTS, A-C-T-S. We're building custom proof of concepts that demonstrate how machine learning and advanced analytics can be utilized to spot potential corrupt activities. We're looking to do these in a variety of different areas, which includes competitive procurement, COVID recovery and reconstruction, licensing and permits, government tax systems, customs and fiscal and public payments. Corruption is just really hard to detect. I mean, you can have a ton of data, but if you have to manually go comb through it and look for connections, relationships, things that look off, that can take a lot of time. And so by building things where you can do this at scale and you can basically have algorithms running that will help you pull from your data insights that direct you where to look. It can be a much more effective way of spotting signals of corruption and then doing something to address them. Microsoft decided that we were very interested in trying to do more to address corruption. And so the IDB was a natural partner and they were really one of our first partners for the ACTS initiative, where we started trying to figure out together what proofs of concept and in what places could we do something that would address the flow of COVID funds into various countries in Latin America where the IDB has client governments. 